Hello, hallelujah. Good morning. God bless you. Welcome to the eighth week, the eighth video in our 53 videos of Week World. That week that um, I come your way with an inspiring, motivational word that you can anchor your faith on and run with in the course of the week. Without any wasting of your time, I want to kindly refer you to the previous videos that I have been teaching since the year started. And I want to go straight to today's discussion. Now, I have to tell you that I am having a bit of, um, I don't want to use the word confusion, but I'm like, oh Lord, what do I talk about today? Because a lot is in my head and I don't know which one to pick. But when we read the scripture, I believe the Holy Spirit will give us direction. I invite you, therefore, to come with me to 2 Kings chapter 2, and I will read from verse 11. It reads, Then it happened, as they continued on and talked, that suddenly a chariot of fire appeared with horses of fire and separated the two of them, and Elijah went up by a wide wind into heaven. Verse 12. And Elisha saw it, and he cried out, My father, my father, the chariot of Israel and his horsemen. So he saw him no more. Now, and he took hold of his own clothes and tore them into two pieces. He also took up the mantle of Elijah that had fallen from him and went back and stood by the bank of the Jordan. I believe in this course of the month, the month of February, we have said that we are discussing from the life of Elijah and Elisha the matter pertaining to focus. Focus because Elijah said to Elisha, if you are not distracted, if you see me taking up, even though you've asked of something difficult, you will have it. So focus is required to receive that difficult thing that you expect to have. But we began to talk about conditionalities in the course of this month. We talk about suddenness in the course of this month. Now today I'm tempted to talk about eventualities. Now, but, but you know, beyond talking about eventualities, my mind is beginning to pick something that has to do with your package coming your way in a disguised format. What do I mean disguised format? Most of the things you want to receive from God will not come to you the way you want it or the way you pictured it or the way you imagined it. Some of us want to marry a wife. We have a picture of the wife that we want. We have a picture of the husband that we want. But do you know that sometimes that wife or that husband will not come to you according to the picture that you have in mind. You want a rich guy living in a mansion, riding a good car. You want a beautiful gear that has a good job. And you know, it's silly now that men are always now attracted to the paying, good paying job of the girls and no longer the virtue, the values, or the beauty of the girl or the fact that God has made her a virtuous woman. No, they're not attracted to that. They want to know, is the girl working? Is the girl rich? And it's silly. It's, I'm sorry to use the word silly, but it's just amazing what the young men of this generation are turning into. In my, I don't know whether my generation is the last same generation, but in our time, we want to take care of our women. We think about taking care of our women. That doesn't mean our women will not contribute, but our motivation is to take care of them, not to ask them that in this wedding, we are the ones marrying ourselves, so I bring 50%, you bring 50%. Boy. I don't know even how to put my mouth and talk about that one. And that just distracted me and took a lot of minutes in what it is that I want to talk about. And I don't know if that is if there's a reason to that. I don't know if the Holy Spirit will have me go that way. Because somebody needs to hear that. Now, I am choked of time. And because I'm choked of time, I want to tell you that your package will come to you in a way that you did not expect. It will come to you disguised. Elijah might not put hands on you and pray for you. Elijah might not pour oil on your head. Elijah might even be sympathetic to you when he saw you tore your own garment into two pieces. I say, oh, I don't want him to go home naked. Let me drop my own garment for him. And you don't know that that ordinary garment dropped for you that didn't look like what you asked for. I was thinking you're going to pray for me. I was thinking you're going to pour oil on my head. I was thinking you're going to do something gymnastic to show that you have given me the double portion. But you dropped your garment. That 
garment is what you are looking for, but it comes to you in a disguised format. God bless you. Have a good week.